Hello and welcome to the C4Clicks Project Estimator training video. Today we're going to look at exporting estimates. So this is kind of two videos. We're going to start with exporting estimates and then we're going to do, shocker, importing estimates. All right, so these were obviously working hand in hand. We're going to go through exporting first because that happens first and then we're going to go through importing. All right, so in this video we're going to see how to select the different estimates that we would like to export. We're going to go through exporting itself, and then we're going to look at the exporting completed window. We're going to start our video on the estimates tab of the update project window, but before we dive in, I want to explain kind of the whole idea of importing and exporting and why we're doing that. e 4 Clicks Project Estimator is set up as a database, so it's not a single file kind of program like a Word or an Excel. It's more like access. It's a database. So instead of opening up one project at a time and working with that and then doing a file save as to save it as something else, we are going to open up the whole filing cabinet. So we're opening up all the projects and all of the information within those projects at one time. So we're opening up everything at once. So there's no file to go grab this specific estimate or this specific project and email that somewhere else. Here, when we open up E4 Clicks, we're opening up a big file with all the information. So in order to share a piece of that, we have to go identify that piece, run an export to create a file of just that information to email or somehow send to a different uh, company, facility owner, different contractor, something like that. So hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to take a little piece of the big database and create a file that has just that information for sharing. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So no file open, no file save as. We're going to use the import export process on specific estimates or projects. We are going to focus on estimates because we kind of want you to set up your own project. We want you to own the project. We want you to put the project number on, the project description, the project contract, the correct users, set up the shell of the project correctly from the beginning, and then import in some of that pricing info. So import in estimates that have those line items that has that pricing. All right? So this video will focus on importing and exporting estimates. You can import and export projects. You would do it at the projects window, one level back here. And the process would be very similar. So let's jump in and do this, okay? Just like printing, we're going to see some similarities there to the printing um, process, the printing video. We need to identify the estimates that we would like to export. In this case, we want to export all of these different estimates. So we want to tag them all. We could use our mouse and check each of these individually. We could use our space bar and tag them individually, or we could right click, go to our tagging menu options, and we could go tag all, control A, or untag all, control U. All right, so let's try that. Control A tags them all, control U untags them all. Very nice. We also have two toolbar icons up here that we might be interested in, tag all, untag all. Okay, so I'm going to tag all these. Once we have them tagged, we're going to jump into our right-click menu option and do some exporting. So if we right-click, we can see an import-export menu here, and that cascades down with two options. One is import and one is export. Shocker, huh? Now if we take a quick peek at the name, we're going to see that inherently we're backing up this information. So we can create a backup of these estimates, and then at any time, we could restore them through an import process. So not only can this be used to share from our database to another database, from a contractor to a contractor, facility owner to a facility owner, a contractor to a facility owner, we could always also use this to store some of our information, maybe on a different hard drive or computer location, and then import it back in, restore it at any time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and choose export in this case. And this is going to open up the export estimates window. Let me show you one more way we could get there. So I'm going to cancel out of here. 
The other way we could do is toolbar icons. I like to try to show these. So we have two. One is import and one is export. We've got a folder with a green arrow coming in for import. We've got export, which is a red folder, go, a red arrow going out of the folder for export. When we choose this menu command, we get the export estimates window. We could see that we could set up destination options to some of our default folder locations. We could also choose specify. It's kind of a nice one here. When we choose that, we can use our yellow folder to open up Windows Explorer to navigate to the place, the folder where we'd like to save our information. Then we get to name it. Again, just like in reports, we could choose some of the information that we already have, like project number and description. We could also include user text and type in what we'd like. We could put in training, for example, as the name. Then we're going to see the file name. Let me do a quick uh, note here for you. So this is going to go into the location and have the name. In this video, the file name is going to end with a .emc. That's because I'm in the training software. Back at your office, you're going to see .e4c for E4 clicks. So just to note the difference there, but it's basically the exact same process. We could put a password on this export file if we'd like to. It's optional. We don't have to. We could also exclude some sensitive information maybe. So any of this information, we could strip out of the information that gets put in to the export file. Then we could uh, further describe this, add a note basically, and say this is a note. So we could type in some information there to share with our audience if we'd like to. Once we have it set up as we'd like, we click the OK button, and this creates our file. If it already exists, we could hit Yes to overwrite it, and we would see that we've got the estimate export window there. So be careful on um, doing that. You could differentiate a lot of times by using the date and or the time, and that would give it a different file name. So there's a little hint there for you. What we get here is actually two files, and let me explain to you why. So I showed you, told you we'd get the EMC. We're also getting an EMC2 file, okay? And on your system, again, it'd be .e4c and .e4c2. This is the exact same information, the exact same line items, estimates, all that kind of stuff. The only difference is in the compression, okay? So when we put these files together, compress them, and make them secure, um, our older compression type, our original one, is the .emc. Our new one we had to create because with some security advances on the DOD side, especially the Air Force, um, it wasn't passing the firewalls through. So the compression um, set off some alarm bells. So we changed the compression and added a second file type, EMC2. But the information is the same. It's just the compression that's different. So in the future, we may go ahead and set up an option whether you want to create the one or create the other type. Right now, it creates both. No problem. Just choose one of them to pass on to your audience, and you'll be golden. On this window, we have a couple of similar buttons that we saw when we were printing. We can open the folder location, and that would open that up, and we could see the files there. We could copy these. We could tag either one of these or both of them and copy those to our Windows Explorer clipboard. We could even use Send by Email, where we try to open up an email and automatically attach those files. So, and when we're done with the process, we just click, click close. We'll return right back here to the estimates. Nothing is deleted. It doesn't take anything out. It just creates that extra file that we could go send or do whatever. So hopefully that makes sense with the exporting estimates. Okay? So please take a look at importing estimates. Should be the next video in your list there to kind of get the other half of this. All right. And then check out all of the other uh, different E4 Clicks Project Estimator videos to get more knowledge on any specific area. Of course, you can always reach out to the support team as well. All right. We hope you enjoyed this video as all and all of the videos. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. Thanks so much.